Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Michael, and I am a drawaholic. It's true. When I don't draw, I get irritable and antsy, and um, I have issues. And as a matter of fact, if you go to my website, it's www.drawaholic.blogspot.com. And if you look me up on DeviantArt, it's drawaholic1124. So I mean what I say when I say that I'm a drawaholic. As a matter of fact, I have two self-published books, and the first one is entitled Confessions of a Drawaholic, and the second one is Confessions of a Drawaholic Volume 2, so there you go. Um, anyway, the reason why I became a drawaholic was because I believe in two principles for artistic growth. The first one is repetition. And the second one is consistency. Now, when I was younger, I used to take Kung Fu. And the way that we mastered certain strikes or movements was to repeat them thousands of times. And according to my teacher, who was from China, he said that was how they learned in China. They did something thousands of times until it became intuitive, instinctive, um, part of your muscle memory. And so what I did was when I was in art school and I was trying to learn how to draw, I applied those same principles. I remember I got a book by an artist named George Bridgman um, called The Book of a Hundred Hands. And I was struggling so much with hands. And I drew each hand in that book ten times each. And do you know what happened? I got better at drawing hands. Yes, I did. So what I did was... I applied that insane sort of um, almost obsessive compulsive approach to any problem area that I had with drawing the figure, whether that was legs or arms or heads. And eventually those things that were weaknesses became strengths. Well, I have a book here, Confessions of a Drawaholic, Volume 2, 1,000 Head Sketches. Not 100, 1,000. And if you don't believe me, you can do the math. There are 125 pages with eight heads each. Okay? Now, why did I do this book? Well, first of all, oh, there's my little headhunter on the back. He's the one who decapitated all the people and gave me the thousand heads if you don't if you don't understand where this is coming from I'll give you a little background um, some of my lazy students um, were complaining about all the repetitions that I would have them do in class and I said hey when I was in school I used to draw things thousands of times in order to, to overcome my drawing issues with that particular thing and they didn't believe me. And I said, hey, man, I drew a thousand heads like two or three times when I was in school. And oh, that's impossible. That's ridiculous. And I said, really? Well, let's just see about that. And so I started doing that 1,000 heads book, this one here, on April twenty. Mm, I don't know. It was end of April. And I finished it. I believe it was early June. Anyway, I'm not quite sure exactly when, but I finished it. It took me almost two months uh, because I was trying to make a point. Um, and once I finished it, somebody said, hey, you should put that in a book. And I said, hey, that's a great idea. And so that's how I got the book. But the whole point was to show my students that nothing is impossible unless you tell yourself that. As a matter of fact, I believe it was Confucius who said something to the effect of uh, he who uh, believes that something is impossible is usually right. So you have to get over that idea that doing something like that is impossible. I know it's a huge number. But it's far from impossible. I've done it not once, not twice, not three times, not four times. I have drawn a thousand heads at least seven times. And that's just sitting down and drawing a thousand heads. That's not to mention all the other times I've sketched heads and, and, and drawn heads as a part of figures and not counted. 
Um, that's just dedicated sitting down and saying, I'm going to do this. Now, here's what you have to watch out for. A lot of you guys don't draw very much. And so you'll draw like 80 heads and you'll think, man, I sure drew a lot of heads. And you'll feel uh, uh, complete and complacent and you'll stop drawing heads because you'll feel like you've actually done something special. But if you are meticulously counting and keeping track of your heads, what you're going to see is that you didn't draw nothing. You still got 920 heads to go. 80 heads is not even one-tenth of the way to your goal. So what I do is I keep meticulous track of my heads. At the bottom of the page, I mark what page it is, whether that's page one, how many heads I've completed. Let's say I've done 10 heads. And I put in the number 10, and then I put 990 heads to go as a reminder that I am not anywhere near the finish line. When I'm, as I'm further along, I might put 600 heads completed, 400 heads to go on whatever page number it is. But I keep meticulous track so that I never become complacent or satisfied with the number of heads I've done until I've reached my goal. Okay? So it's very, very important that you do this. And the reason why is because when you draw something that much, you're going to start to notice little, um, little uh, details and, and little um, uh, subtleties in the features and the structure of the face and the contours um, in the volumes of, of, of the faces. Uh, that you didn't notice before, that you completely overlooked. You know, a lot of times you see people and their heads look soft. You know, there's something missing. It's because they're not picking up on all the minutia of the face, the little structural elements that are so important to make something look believable. They're missing all that stuff. And, um, and uh, that's why their, their heads don't look as good as they could. But if you do this, eventually you're going to start, you've looked at heads so much that you're going to start picking up on some of these things so that's the awesome part about it um, so here's the thing um, again I said repetition and consistency those are the two principles that are gonna help you grow artistically um, you wanna do 1000 heads two to three inches tall no more than 15 minutes each okay as you progress what you're gonna notice is that you're going to be producing better quality heads in less time when I started it was taking me about 12 minutes or so to complete each head by the time I was finished it was taking me six to eight minutes to finish a head and I was much better so even at the stage that I am right now having worked in the industry and you know drawn for you know seriously for about 15 years now um, I, I'm still improving. Every time I do exercises like this, I improve. It's so exciting because there's never an end to your improvement. You can always push yourself. Um, so that's that's what I recommend. Um, this is the 1,000 heads. But I also, on top of that, um, I recommend doing 2,500 heads. Uh, I'm sorry, 2,500 drawings. I tell people to do 500 legs. 500 arms, 250 hands, 250 feet. Again, two to three inches tall, maybe, you know, four inches for arms and legs. Just not too big so that it takes you too long and not too small so that you're not able to get in any detail or anything like that, okay? Um, and I tell people and complete it in a year. The 1,000 heads, I would say do it in six months, you know? The key thing is do a little bit every single day. You know, now there may be days where you have uh, lots and lots of homework or you're working and you're not able to do much. Um, so do 10 to 15 minutes. Something is better than nothing. That's what you have to remember. Um, you know, I may have uh, three hours to work out today and exercise. Tomorrow, I may have hardly any time. So I may just, you know, um, get up and, and hit my punching bag for 15 minutes and, and work up a little sweat or, or jump rope for 10 minutes and, and, and work up a sweat and shower and go. But guess what? That 10 to 15 minutes is helping maintain what I've, what the, the progress that I've made when I have more time. So it's all about maintenance. Something is better than nothing when it comes to drawing. I had somebody come into my drawing class the other day and tell me that they hadn't drawn for three weeks. And I said, don't tell me that. That's depressing. Okay, so you guys can do it. 
Just remember, nothing is impossible. Keep pushing, keep working, and you'll get there. Doing this 1,000 head challenge and the 2,500 drawing challenge will pay rich dividends. And if you aren't as good as you want to be when you're done, guess what? Do it again. Chuck Jones said we all have about 10,000 bad drawings in us. You do the 2,500 drawings, you are one quarter of the way through all those bad drawings. Okay? All right. Good luck, everybody. If you have questions, hit me up. Take care. Peace.